Welcome to our channel Books and Biographies. Today, we're diving into the life of a man whose name echoes through history. Napoleon Bonaparte. Who was he? A ruthless conqueror? A brilliant strategist? A tragic hero? Napoleon's story has it all. Born in 1769 on the rugged island of Corsica, Napoleon wasn't always destined for greatness. Although his family had some nobility, they weren't exactly rolling in dough. Young Napoleon was a bit of an outsider. Corsica had just become French, and Napoleon felt the sting of being different. But that didn't stop him from being ambitious. At 15, Napoleon landed a spot at a prestigious French military academy. He wasn't the most popular kid, but he excelled in history, math, and most importantly, strategy. Meanwhile, back in France, a revolution was brewing. The people were fed up with an unfair social system and a clueless king. Napoleon, ever the opportunist, saw a chance to rise above his station. The French Revolution threw France into chaos. But for Napoleon, it was his lucky break. He rose through the military ranks at lightning speed, his tactical genius on the battlefield undeniable. Victories in Italy made him a national hero. People went wild for the short, stocky dude, who seemed to outsmart the enemy at every turn. By 1799, France was a mess. Napoleon saw his opportunity. In a bloodless coup d'etat, he took control of the government, becoming first consul. Napoleon wasn't done yet. He knew France needed stability, and he wasn't afraid to take matters into his own hands. Napoleon wasn't just a military man. He was a shrewd leader, who understood the power of law. He introduced the Napoleonic Code, a set of laws that standardized everything from property rights to inheritance. This code had a huge impact on France and beyond, forming the basis for legal systems in many countries today. By 1804, Napoleon craved more power. In a lavish ceremony, he declared himself Emperor Napoleon I. France was an empire, and Napoleon was at the top. But even emperors need love, right? Napoleon fell for a beautiful socialite named Josephine. There was just one problem, she wasn't young enough to bear him an heir. Love or power? Napoleon chose power. He reluctantly divorced Josephine and married Marie Louise, an Austrian princess. It was a political move to secure an alliance, not exactly a love story. Napoleon's ambition wouldn't be contained by France's borders. He launched a series of wars across Europe, conquering vast territories. His military brilliance was undeniable, but the constant fighting left Europe in ruins. A bunch of European countries got tired of Napoleon's dominance and formed coalitions to stop him. In 1812, Napoleon made a massive blunder. He invaded Russia, a country with a harsh winter and a vast, unforgiving landscape. The Russian army used scorched earth tactics, luring Napoleon deeper into their territory before burning everything down. The brutal winter then dealt the final blow. Napoleon's mighty army was decimated. Napoleon's luck finally ran out. Defeated at the Battle of Waterloo in 1815, he was exiled to the remote island of St. Helena. Napoleon spent his remaining years on St. Helena, a lonely island in the middle of the Atlantic. He died there in 1821, most likely from stomach cancer. The Rise and Fall of Napoleon Bonaparte From a determined island boy to a conquering emperor, continues to inspire and intrigue. But what do you think? Was Napoleon a brilliant leader or a power-hungry tyrant? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this journey through history, don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribe bell for more epic tales delivered straight to your feed. See you next time.